So this weekend at the Pete, Southern Miss opens up Sun Belt play hosting Marshall. So I thought it'd be a great idea to bring two of the team captains in, two sluggers, two fan favorites, Slade Wilkes and Carson Pato. Fella, fellas, how are you doing today? Well, we're good. Yeah, we're about to get ready for practice here in a little while, and uh, we're excited to be on here, man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, for appreciate, appreciate you guys being on. Now, real quick, I want, I want to just start with kind of the student side of things. You know, student athletes, you guys are, but but first up, uh, Slade, you are a business administration major. So maybe what's some plans on uh, life after baseball you already have? Yeah, you know. Be honest with you right now, just like any other baseball player, I want to play baseball as long as I can. And, uh, you know, I'm graduating from my business administration here in the spring in May. And, uh, you know, we'll see where that takes us. You know, I like the concept of business and, uh, you know, hopefully one day be in a management type role of some kind. Oh, I love it. Carson, you're a health science major, just found out. So what do you plan on doing after baseball? Well, you know, like Slade said, I'm going to play baseball as long as possible. Um, but after baseball, whenever that time comes to an end, I plan on entering the medical field some way, somehow. I've always kind of been interested in nursing, but, you know, after four years in college, two extra years of nursing school kind of doesn't sound too fun. So uh, I have a few different career options, but hopefully some, somewhere in the medical field. That definitely interests me. Oh, I love it. I know you guys have a bright future after a long, long baseball career, I can see. Now, now you guys are known as sluggers in the Southern Miss world, knocking them out the park all over the United States of America. You got great walk-up songs. So first up, Slade, I want to ask you, your walk-up song is White Horse by Chris Stapleton. Why that song and what does it mean to you? Yeah, you know, I think the biggest thing with a walk-up song is making sure that it fits your personality. Like mine and Tuna's walk-up song is very different. And that's just, I mean, it's kind of people we are. Like, you know, I think when people think of me, they think of, you know, I'm from a small town and, you know, things like that. And, uh, you know, that's kind of the genre that I want around me. And that's when I heard that song, probably the first time by Chris Stapleton, I was like, that's it. And so, yeah. All right, Carson, your turn. Love Tonight by Shouts. Why that song? What does it mean to you? Um, you know, my, my thing that I kind of do is I, I show I love you to the roots whenever I head home early. You know, that's kind of what I do. So, uh. All I need is your love tonight. I know that's just kind of what it kind of rang a bell in my head when I heard that. And uh, it kind of has a good beat to it. And I like getting the crowd into it. And when they start clapping, it kind of it pumps me up. And it's definitely a – I like the beat to it. So it makes me uh, kind of relax in me, but it gets me hyped at the same time. Oh, I love it, man. I love it. And one thing, too, I mean, young Golden Eagle fans love you guys. Great ambassadors for those youngsters to look up to. And uh, first up, Carson. I mean, I've seen so many pictures with you putting a smile on a kid's face. You got a smile on a kid's face. What's some of your favorite moments interacting with the youth? Um, I'd say a couple for sure, just like the camps we have. We have a lot of camps, and uh, it's definitely fun working the camps. You know, me, me and Slade, did, we had a camp today. We didn't work it, but we went out there and just said, hey, and said what's up when the camp was done. And that that kind of stuff's super fun. And when, when we run the bases, you know, um, on Sundays, even if we win or lose, you know, that kind of always seems to – brighten us up you know it kind of makes the loss less tough I mean obviously losing is not fun but whenever we see those kids running the bases and kind of realize it's bigger than us that that kind of brightens us up a little bit you know and it, that I definitely enjoy doing that every Sunday oh I love it good stuff right there and Slade I mean you put a ton of smiles on young faces and you got something cool in your hometown of Columbia Mississippi the Alpha Academy it's a place for the youth to do baseball training and stuff so uh your co-owner of that I mean what What's that place mean to you? And, and just talk about the idea of getting that getting that started. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that's one of uh, one of my best friends. That's you know, that's kind of his place, and he lets me uh, run the hitting side of things there. And you know, I did did it a lot last summer, and you know, made some really good connections with some uh, some younger kids. And you know, that's something that I've kind of always want to do. You know, on the sides, just uh, you know, help uh, young hitters develop. You know, not even just the physical side, but you know, the kind of the mental side of things. You know helping develop confidence at an early age, just things like that. And really, you know, passing what I've learned through, uh, through you know, a lot of years of baseball down to the to the next generation. Just, you know, the main thing I tell them is just, you know, have fun. With it. Just make sure you're enjoying it. You know? Yeah, no, I love that stuff. And, uh, and, and real quick, too, you got to have a great mindset to be a slugger like you guys are. Uh, Slade, you first. What's, what's the proper mindset when you step up to the plate, you'd say? Yeah, you want to be calm uh, on one side of things, but then you also, in my eyes, you got to be aggressive too. 
you know, I think you, you know, you've got to be calm because you don't want to get too tight in the box because, you know, when you're tight as a hitter, you know, the good things typically don't happen. But then at the same time, you got to know, hey, if he throws it across the white, I'm going to be ready. Carson, what about you, that mindset as you step up to the plate? Yeah, picking back up what Slade said, I kind of agree. Kind of the same thing. Our uh, our weight coach, he's kind of a madman. If you've met him, you know he's a crazy guy. But uh, one thing that he says is controlled aggression. So you want to get be aggressive, but you don't want to be over aggressive or just like show it too much because then your body's tight. You won't move as efficiently as you're you're capable of. You know, so being able to get in the box and you know be aggressive, but being able to breathe is huge. And it's easier said than done. You know, like just because. We're at the division one level doesn't mean we don't struggle with it too. You know, sometimes we get in these huge slumps where we're just tight and trying too much. You know, we I mean, I know a lot of kids think we're superheroes, but I mean <laughs> we got we got Achilles heels just like everybody else, you know. So uh we're, we're constantly working on it just like everybody else. Uh, hitting that ball the way you guys do sometimes it's superhero vibes, man. I promise you that. So hey, this week, huge win over top twenty Alabama. And you guys have not lost the series all season long, man. Fast start, but in particular beating Bama. Uh, Slade, real quick, does it mean a little bit more beating an SEC team? Uh, you know, I mean, it, it, it's a nice uh, win on the Reds back for the end of the year. But, you know, our expectations here, you know, we're supposed to win every game. You know, obviously, you know, look at those games. You know, they're big games. They mean a lot for, like, postseason because, you know, we want to host postseason baseball here at the beat, which we've done the past few years. Those games mean a lot towards that. But, uh, you know, we try to treat every game the same. This is go out and play Golden Eagle baseball and the rest, let the rest take care of itself. Oh, I love that. What about you, uh, Carson, with, with SEC wins? Did it mean a little bit more sometimes? Um, Yeah, I kind of agree with Slade on this one. I mean, yeah, it's it's cool to kind of come in here and beat teams that everybody thinks is on a, a higher pedestal than us, you know, because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's Division one baseball. We're, we're on the same playing field. We all play, play for the same trophy. Um, but – you know, one thing that Coach Oz said, it doesn't matter the name on their chest. It doesn't matter the name on anybody's chest. You know, it's, it's about how we play because, I mean, at, at the end of the day, we've lost to teams we shouldn't have, and we've beaten teams that, you know, everybody maybe thinks that we shouldn't have. So, uh, it just kind of depends on who brings it that day and who plays harder. Oh, I love it right there. And I don't want to bring up the question, but John Cox walked behind you. I was like, oh, no, no big deal. Just John Cox strolling behind. Hey, John, if you over there. <laughs> hey, hey. Carson, you first right here. We have a big series uh, this weekend against Marshall to start Sun Belt play. What are some things that we can expect from the Golden Eagles and maybe some things we can improve on in Sun Belt play? Um, I mean, we're definitely coming out with a lot of energy and a lot of enthusiasm. You know? I mean, um, we're excited to start a conference because, you know, this is this is kind of where postseason ball – this is this what leads up to postseason ball. And this is the kind of stuff that – matters a lot just like I mean every game matters this stuff matters more you know conference is a big deal um I mean y'all can expect us to come out here and play our butts off you know we're, we don't take anything granted here um we, we love every second here and uh I don't know too much about Marshall to be honest with you I know that they're a divisional ball club and I mean they can win just like we can so uh I will see what happens great mindset Slade what about you uh starting some will play things we can expect maybe some things we can improve on yeah, absolutely. I think uh, I think one thing Southern Miss fans, uh, you know, can get excited about and can expect, you know, I, th I really think the past, you know, week we've really turned it up as far as like our level of play. And I think that's exciting because, you know, you never want to get hot or play your best baseball too early in the year. And so we're just now starting to, you know, kind of figure that out a little bit. And, uh, you know, we've, you know, talking about Sunbelt play, you know, the Sunbelt is a really deep league. And uh, I was showing that last year, especially in baseball. I mean, you got to bring it every game. And, you know, because if you don't, you know, whoever can beat you, it doesn't matter. I mean, one through either 12 or 14, I can't remember. It's good baseball teams. So you just got to show up excited and ready to play and get after the other team. No, oh, heck yeah. Great, great stuff right there. I know people are fired up for Sunbelt play, man. So let's see what happens. Uh, most important time of the year. All right, fellas, uh, you wouldn't mind a little fun segment right here. Five fun, true, false questions. Is that cool if we do that? Yeah, works. Okay, first up, you answer true, false right here. And feel free to add anything and whatever. But first up, true or false, today's music is better than 80s or 90s music. False. Yeah. 
Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say true. <laughs> no, oh, I'm with Slay. Come on, really? uh, dude. I should have been on. generation. Uh, I love the music way better back then. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, uh, I like a little bit of rap music, and some of the rap <laughs> today is just better in my opinion. Coach Oz would hate if I said that because he loves he loves some good Pearl Jam and stuff. But we listen to it every day, so I kind of. I like our music. I don't get tired of my music. Course, my I'm, got, I'm sorry. Course, what's that? What's that sleep? I said my dad got me on ACDC at an early age, man. I'm still bought in. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I, I had Coach Oz on. He said he kind of makes sure you guys listen to Metallica every now and then. Oh, too. No. And every, day. Love it. So, every day. Same, Carson, same I'm sorry. I'm vibing with Slade on it. No, <laughs> Carson, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm vibing with Slade. With hey, all good. I'm sorry, bro. All good. <laughs> Check it out, man. Uh, Carson, you got a great nickname, the Big Tuna. Now, man, is there a, a deeper meaning than that nickname that maybe none of us will ever know? Uh, yeah, I'd say yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people don't even know the real reason why I get called Big Tuna. They just think you know, a lot of people are like I have a lot of kids come up to me. It's it's sometimes the same kids. They always forget. I guess they're like, "Why are you called Big Tuna?" And they, they just don't know. And, uh, funny story. Coach Barry thinks I look like Bill Parcell. And Bill Parcell, the <laughs> football coach, is Big Tuna. So uh, that's, that's why I get called Big Tuna. A lot of people don't know that. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks for sharing that. But great nickname, the Big Tuna. Thank you. Next true, yeah. <laughs> Next true fault. So Slade Wilkes prefers button down jerseys to show off his chest hair in games. Oh, 100. Yeah. yeah. We have a three button Sunday. Three button Sunday. Slade looks forward to it. <laughs> Well, my, my yeah, wife and I, whenever we're watching the game, you know, and it's fun, man. No, my wife and I, whenever we're watching the game, when when y'all aren't wearing the button down, y'all just got the the neck. I'm like, I don't know, if Slade, you know, really enjoys this, man. Not, <laughs> not showing enough chest hair today. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind it because yeah, I'm a whole lot of hair in this region, so I'm not I'm not covering up too much. Yeah, I mean, I'm, speaking of the '80s, you know, Slade's got like Tom Selleck, Magna PI vibes, man, when he's up to bat. So, all right, fourth up, true false. Pete Taylor Park magic is real. Uh, 100% true. True. Oh, yeah. No doubt right there. And then last, no you can feel it in the air. I mean, it's just something about it. It's hard to explain in words until you've experienced it. Yeah. Mm, man, some nights of chill bumps just thinking about it. Some of the nights I've seen you guys be a part of. Uh, all right, last true false question. Whenever the bats are cold with you guys, Southern Miss fans – or very patient, knowing they're about to heat up. True or false? Oh, it's true. Yeah, they 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 know it's going to come around. Yeah, <laughs> very very <laughs> patient, very patient. Twitter especially, right? Twitter very patient. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they love it deep down. Sometimes <laughs> they don't act act like it. Yeah, they they they're not patient at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it, fellas. Man, thanks for doing a fun true false uh, topics right there. And as we close this show, I want to give you guys uh, kind of an opportunity to, to give the fans a message. So first up, uh, let's go Slade. What's a message you have for the fans to get them all fired up about Sunbelt play? Yeah, absolutely. The most important uh, part of the season starts this weekend at P. Taylor Park. You know, I know you are going to come already, but, uh, you know, we, you know, we want to have a packed house. And, uh, you know, I think we got a good Marshall team coming in. And uh, like I said earlier, you know, I think Golden Eagles are, you know, we're starting to find an identity a little bit. You know, we've got a, you know, a fun team. And, uh, man, just come watch. It's, it's, it's been a lot of fun here lately. I love it. Carson, what about you, man? A message from the big tuna to get the fans all fired up. Yeah, I mean, we had, a, we had some uh, some good back-end season games coming up, you know, and uh, uh, excited to see the fans there. You know, we, we love our fans. Sometimes they – we may not think they love us, but we still love them no matter what. You know, we're excited. Oh, they love you, Carl. They love you. <laughs> yeah, we, we know. We know. But uh, we're excited to see them uh, come pack the house. You know, maybe they can pack the Pete and uh, kind of hoot and holler for us. You know, we're excited to see them there. And uh, like Slade said, we're, we're kind of starting to figure things out. And uh, maybe maybe we can get naughty. That's what we call it. We like getting naughty at the plate. So maybe we can do that when the fans come. Yes, sir. Oh, love it. Great message for the fans from two fan favorites, two sluggers, team captains right there. So, fellas, I can't thank you guys enough for being on my show today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. It was awesome, man. No, oh, appreciate you guys. And then, once again, from two fan favorites, I think a great way to close the show would be for Slade Wilkes, Carson Pato, and myself to give everybody a big Southern Miss. To the top.
to the top. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah.